Hi, I want to talk about my nickel iron batteries and basically how I charge them. These are in series and there's 10 of them and the voltages require something a bit higher than lead acid. This is my MPP charge control which is programmable and I've connected it through a switch box so that I can turn it off when I can. You can see it's a higher voltages, charge voltages and the current is pretty high as well. Now this is my uh, 14 panel uh, grid type system and it has one panel 300 watt panel which goes to the MPP charge control. The maximum I've got through this charge control is 12 amps. Once it's hit its maximum uh, as you can see here it will reset for it to go back to zero and this is some sort of safety feature. It will also log uh, the charging of that day and month and the total as well which is quite important for you. Here's various different pages you can actually go into and change. Uh, more importantly is the control parameters which I'll go back into later. But you can see the monitoring, I can see the load set is basically uh, once it hits night the output could be set to automatic or manual where you can switch on uh, the battery output and various different things like the meter parameters where you can set the meter lights to stay on for a while. Here's the actual control parameter page and you see the first one I can alter the user settings as battery can be altered for my particular capacity of battery. Uh, I set the over voltage at 17 volts uh, basically this is because uh, there's a volt drop during the wires going up right down to the garage where the batteries are so this higher voltage will probably result in around about 14 volts rather than 17 volts at the battery terminal and the lower voltage I can set around about 11 and equalize time as well once you hit this page you can save it out as you can see this is my uh, battery array here in the garage and my car is here so there's enough room um, just gonna turn on and the charging voltage is here is 14.56 which is roughly how I'd like to have it charged because normally lead acid will be charging around about uh, 13 volts and it will stop and float while well, this will continuously charge at 14.56 volts until it's topped up and I can use it at night time is usually linked upstairs to a room where I can power 12 volt devices like a mini projector and some lights until I can get a proper inverter. Um, thanks for watching anyway and I'll see you next time.